Did you know that if you lend your car to somebody who doesn't have a license, you could be charged with violation of vehicle code section 14604, which carries up to six months in county jail? Comment below if you think that's a little extreme. So we received an interesting inquiry from Ms. Gloria Palacios. She asks, let's see, my husband bought a car on the street. Two days later, my daughter was driving it when she was going to work. She passed a stop sign and was stopped by the police. When reviewing the papers, the car had been reported stolen. Now my daughter has a court hearing. The problem is that my daughter was arrested previously for possession of marijuana in the past. Well, okay, first of all, in order for her to be charged with violation of vehicle code section 10851, which is um, driving a stolen vehicle, you have to be aware that the vehicle is stolen or that you have the specific intent of permanently or temporarily depriving the proper owner or proper possessor of the vehicle. In this situation, this wasn't the case uh, with your daughter and probably not with your husband either. They probably were not aware of or had reason to believe that it was stolen. Now, if they bought a vehicle that was probably valued at, let's say $10,000 and they bought it for like 500 bucks, Ooh, then there could be a little bit of an issue, maybe not so much for your daughter, but definitely for your husband. It's part of the reason why it's very dangerous to buy things in the street or to buy things in um, at flea markets. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. In other words, if you have reason to believe that it is stolen, you don't have to know that it's stolen, but if you have reason to believe that it is stolen, you could theoretically be held uh, accountable uh, for being in possession of a stolen vehicle, which would be a violation of California uh, Vehicle Code Section 10851, which carries up to three years in state prison. But I doubt that your daughter would actually get convicted of this. However, regarding the whole marijuana possession in the past, that's not really a big deal either. The reason is because nowadays, possession of marijuana for personal use if you're over the age of 21, it's perfectly legal. If you're under the age of 21, it's an infraction. It's not a big deal. Now, if you're in possession of marijuana without a license for sale, if you have a large amount, it's still just a misdemeanor. But in order for her to be charged with a probation violation, and that's assuming that she's on probation, if she's not on probation, then it's not really much of an issue. But in order for her to get a, her probation violated, they would have to first convict her of the charge of driving the vehicle without the consent of the owner but there's nothing here in this fact pattern indicating that she had the specific intent to deprive the owner or the proper owner of the vehicle there's no real reason for her to know maybe your husband but not your daughter regardless if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the san francisco bay area don't forget to subscribe to our channel law offices of cross and associates and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, give us a call for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing how to dismiss a drug crime. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.